Analysis concluded that the blood in the suspect vehicle was that of the victim. Also, a cell phone belonging to the victim was found inside the passenger compartment of the sus subject, uh, suspect vehicle. And likewise, located in the suspect vehicle was a container of liquid bleach, germicidal wipes, and window cleaner. It scares me because my daughter is in a freshman in college. So you can't let your kids leave out your eyesight. You never know what, what might happen. Her saying yes, she liked to be called was someone that was very outgoing, very bright. When I walked in the room to start teaching class, she was always ready to go. Our hearts are broken. Uh, I mean, they're broken. Uh, that's, there is nothing tougher than to stand before a, a family um, and explain how a loved one was murdered. Chief Holbrook not holding back tonight after a missing persons case turns into a homicide investigation. A USC student out in five points called an Uber to get home, but she never made it. 21-year-old Samantha Josephson, known to friends as Sammy, went missing early Friday morning. She was last seen on surveillance video getting into a black Chevy Impala near the Bird Dog Bar. Friday afternoon, all calls to Josephson went unanswered. Police say her friends grew worried and called police. Early this morning in the Five Points area, police conducted a routine traffic stop on a car that fit the description in this case. Once officers asked the driver to step out of the car, investigators say he took off running. Chevy Impala uh, that was driven by the suspect had a large, uh, a large amount of uh, liquid that we believed to be blood. And once they did a presumptive test, it in fact uh, was confirmed to be blood. They executed a search warrant on that car, additional amounts of uh, dark colored liquid that was tested and tested positive for blood was discovered in the trunk and in the passenger compartment. Collections of blood were obtained by the SLED's uh, forensic crime scene agents and were submitted to SLED DNA lab for analysis to compare to known standards of the victim. The analysis concluded that the blood in the suspect vehicle was that of the victim. Also a cell phone belonging to the victim was found inside the passenger compartment of the sus subject, uh, suspect vehicle. And likewise, located in the suspect vehicle was a container of liquid bleach, germicidal wipes, and window cleaner. Further investigation on the suspect vehicle determined the child, that a child safety seat was in the back, and then the child safety locks were activated on the door that would not allow someone to the means of escape from the back of the suspect vehicle. The body in Clarendon County was also located in an area known to the defendant and near an area where the suspect recently resided according to law enforcement sensitive databases and electronically ac accessed state maintained information. Police arrested this man. 24-year-old Nathaniel Rowland after a brief chase. He's charged with murder in the death of Sammy Josephson. As authorities launched their investigation yesterday afternoon, Rowland continued to post on his Facebook page. News 19 requested a background check on the suspect, and we also did a search on his crimes in the past. At this time, we found only minor traffic violations on his record and an open container violation out of Sumter. A key point the chief stressed was that Samantha got into the suspect's car thinking it was her Uber ride. The university sent out a message to students and parents today detailing safety tips. It said in part, it has been a difficult week. Please know that your safety and well-being is our number one concern. As you make plans for the weekend, remember the tenets of Stand Up Carolina. Be aware of your surroundings. Look out for one another. It goes on to say, exercise best practices when using services like Uber and Lyft. Look for clearly marked vehicles that match the description and license plate number in your app and always ask the driver who he or she is there to pick up before opening the door. We care about you and are here for you. We'll have this full statement on our website and our News 19 app. Meanwhile, the school is also offering counseling. The Center for Health and Well-Being is open from 2 to 8 tomorrow. That's on Divine Street. Also, counseling is available 24-7 at the following number, 777-5223. Columbia Police say Josephson was leaving Hardin Street near Bird Dog early Friday morning. Investigators later confirmed her body was found in Clarendon County off of Knowlton Road. 
The distance between Hardin Street and Columbia to the area where she was found is about 66 miles. News 19 spoke with residents who live on that dirt road, and they tell us they knew something was wrong when SLED arrived in their community yesterday afternoon. Yesterday, around about 3 o'clock, I saw a lot of police cars coming like through the bottom. The police officer came to the car, and he was like, do y'all know any Caucasian females that live around here? I'm like, no, it's only like a little black community. Like 30 people may live around here. And he was like, he, she's about... 20, 21. I'm like, well, my daughter's 19, my niece 20, they maybe know her. Then she's like, no, I think she's a little older. The scary situation is nobody usually come through here. Like, you know, it could have happened all time of night because it's a long dirt road. It go one in one way and out the other. It scares me because my daughter is in a freshman's in college, but she go right here to something. But it just scared to let you know you can't let your kids leave out your eyesight. You never know when, what might happen. It's just scary. It is heartbreaking. My heart goes out to her parents. All of this happened over the course of two days, according to Columbia Police Chief Skip Holbrook. Our Chandler Matt gives us a full timeline of the events tonight. At 1.30 a.m. Friday morning, USC student Samantha Josephson was hanging out with friends at the Bird Dog in Five Points. She got separated from her friends and decided to get an Uber ride through her phone. At 2.09 a.m., Josephson saw a black Chevy Impala pull up to the curb and got into the vehicle, assuming it was her ride home. Hours later, her roommates were not able to get in contact with her. Then around 1.30 p.m., Holbrook says her roommates called the department, and from there, the department filed a missing persons report. Around 4 p.m., the Clarendon County Sheriff's Department responded to reports of a body being found in a rural area in the county. The body was found by two people hunting and was identified as Samantha by the department. At 5.07 p.m. Friday, as crews continue to look for clues and search for information, a Facebook account believed to be operated by Roland was continuing to post status updates. None of the posts appeared to have anything to do with the killing. At 8.30 p.m. Friday, Columbia Police put out a missing person alert for Josephson. It included a photo of her, a surveillance image of her holding her cell phone, and the details that she'd last been seen in five points. On March 30th, around 3 a.m., a canine officer on patrol looking for the black Chevy Impala made a stop on a Impala. The driver of the Impala, who is believed to be suspect Nathaniel Rowland, fled the scene on foot. Then the officer tracked him down, searched the Impala, and found what appeared to be blood in the car. From there, Holbrook says the department submitted various amounts of evidence to the lab. Labs have confirmed that the blood belonged to Samantha. At 6.05 a.m. Saturday morning, Seymour Josephson, Samantha's father, posted on Facebook that Samantha is no longer with us. It was the first public confirmation that she died. The post began being shared by many in the USC community. Throughout the morning and afternoon, police continued to gather evidence as they worked to get a murder warrant on Roland. Just before 7 Saturday, Columbia police held a press conference announcing the charges against Roland and revealing for the first time publicly what they think happened in the hours after the killing. Chandler Mack, News 19, WLTX. Governor McMaster responded to this tragedy. Tonight he sent out a tweet saying, Peggy and I are devastated and crushed over the Josephson family losing their beautiful daughter Samantha. She was one of the brightest young stars at USC. I ask every South Carolinian to join us in praying for the Josephson family. A USC professor says Samantha was the next Amal Clooney and even wrote her a letter of recommendation to get into law school. She shared more about their two semesters together with News 19's Emily Carell. According to friends, Samantha Josephson was a sweet, outgoing girl from Robinson, New Jersey. One of Josephson's Spanish professors described her as having a spirit that was always cheery and bright, and she was always eager to learn and get better. Samantha was someone, her Sammy, as she liked to be called, was someone that was very outgoing, very bright. When I walked in the room to start teaching class, she was always ready to go. She was always giving her best every single day, whether she had a good day, whether she had a bad day. Daniela provided us with an email Josephson had sent her describing her goal of getting into law school to practice human rights law or international law. The last time I saw her was December. I asked her, I was like, so what's the birthday? Are you, are you in law school? When, when, when do you start? She's like, I got in. And so we had a little celebration and 
it's not fair that her life was cut short. It's not fair that she's not going to practice international law. It's not fair. She should be, like I said, tonight at home studying for, for next week. That, that should be the reality, not, not the reality that she unfortunately is, has faced. Friends told me that Sammy was one of a kind and super outgoing. Another saying she never failed to make her smile and laugh every day, making light of every situation saying she was unlike anyone they had ever met and she will be missed dearly. I'm Emily Correll, News 19 WLTX.